charter schools. It'll be on the ballot in November. Um, it is uh, Initiative 1240. Um, charter schools are actually public schools. Um, they're funded uh, the same way that a traditional public school is funded. Um, they uh, have to meet all the same academic uh, requirements as uh, public schools. They have a lot more flexibility than a traditional public school. Um, there are about 14,000 kids who drop out of uh, school in Washington State every year. 14,000, that's a huge number. Um, in this state, um, there are fewer kids percentage-wise going to college than there were five years ago or ten years ago, interestingly enough. Um, the uh, graduation rate in some schools, especially um, in some of the big urban areas, uh, is uh, less than 30 percent. The graduation rate, uh, the number of those kids that end up going to college um, in some schools with more than several hundred students, um, they are in the teens, the number of kids that end up going to, going to college. Um, the uh, initiative is geared to uh, struggling students. Um, most of those students are minority kids or poor kids. They are the ones that struggle the most in the, in the school system, the traditional school system. Um, it is important to note that 41 states in um, the country have this law. There are 500 charter schools being created um, every year in those other states. Washington State does not have <laughs> the charter school provision. They've been in existence for 20 years. What this initiative does is it takes the 12 top laws around the country and essentially puts those provisions into um, the initiative. Um, I'm going to uh, end there, uh, although I would want to, I do want to say to you, uh, you know, this is a business group. You're kind of saying, ah, education, you know, what's the deal here? Well, many, many, most actually, uh, chambers around the state have endorsed this initiative. The Association of Washington Business and many, many other business organizations have strongly endorsed this initiative. And the reason they have is because um, they are facing challenges in terms of getting decent workers. And any of you guys that have hired folks and you want them to, you know, I don't know, measure the length of a pipe or whatever, um, you will find that a lot of those kids and adults don't even have the skills to do the basic stuff. And I can tell you right now, I've hired a few folks and I do a lot of writing. And it is very, very tough to find a good writer. Very, very tough. Um, and it's because the education system simply doesn't produce them like they should. So I would ask that actually EIW consider endorsing this initiative. Um, I will be at the back of the room and anyone that wants to individually endorse this initiative, I am happy to sign you up. Um, it is critical that this thing, and I, I would, it, whether you endorse it or not, I would encourage you very, very strongly to vote for it because um, it is those kids that are the future of, uh, of, of our businesses, actually. And um, uh, if we don't have a different system here, uh, I'm afraid that we're going to find ourselves in the same situation we are now and, and maybe even worse. So thank you very much.